The Copperhead, a venomous pit viper found in the woodlands of North America. Like most pit vipers, the Copperhead is generally an ambush predator. It takes up a promising position and waits for a suitable prey to arrive. Oh, <laughs> and there's also a snake by the same name. Yep, that's right, Terrence done it again. Not only has he taken the Glock 34 and transformed it into a sheer target thrashing soft shooting competition pistol, but he's also made the build available via a gunsmithing package for your personal Glock 34. That's right, for a mere $19.99, you can send in your own Glock 34 and have it gunsmithed to perfection by the team at TTI. This includes a two-tone matte bronze finish, a Timney Alpha competition trigger, RMR optic cut, a DLC barrel, custom hand stipple with TTI logo, single undercut, grip reduction, dual accelerator cuts, a TTI carry magwell and fiber optic sights, and a carbon fiber striker cover plate. Lead time on this, hmm, a mere 22 to 26 weeks. But trust me, when you get that pistol back and you find that your split times are improving because of no felt recoil and a buttery smooth trigger, you'll be ready to take on limited optics in no time. What's up guys, John Keys. Sure, Michael Singleton. And we're back with another review after so long. It's been a while, It's man. really been a while. It really has, but it's, man. But it's been an amazing day. No, no, it has. And look, Sherman's been waiting to get back outside. I'm not gonna lie to I you, have. now I kinda see why. I was cool shooting at X-Cal, cause X-Cal's great. We love X-Cal. But man, outdoors. outdoors is so much better. A lot yeah, more yeah. room to move. Yeah. We did some crazy drills, yeah. testing each other. Six. That was a good one. You ready? Yep. Stand by. One flat. One flat? Yep. Okay. Stand by. <laughs> Bro, you're eight two. <laughs> Stand by. Wow, one eight three, first shot, eight nine. All right, guys. John's like, I'm done. <laughs> Let's talk about the Copperhead. First shot of that second build drill, 8-9. First of all, shout out to John's son, uh, Jay Sean, who's filming this for us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's done stuff for us in the very early stages of this. And to sort of watch his development as a producer, as, as a film guy, has really been amazing. So shout out to him. Comment in the comments, guys, and give Jay Sean some love because he loves what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And watching that development just as a friend of John, a friend of his son's, is just amazing to see someone passionate about what they love developing that skill set. But it's been amazing, John. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been a great day. It really has. And, and yeah, I'm glad you said that about Jay. I didn't yeah, want, man. You know, I, I don't yeah, want to boast, I I don't boast on my son but like I, that. I but can, I yeah, can. Yeah, you can. I appreciate that. I really do. And, and yeah, the guys, you, you see what's going on here. So that's I, I, enough is said about that. But listen, man, today's been awesome. We're shooting an impeccable firearm today, guys. And I'm gonna hold it this way, just so I don't flag anybody. The Terran Tactical mm -hmm. Copperhead Glock 34. And John was one of the first people, by the way, oh. to get this. Man, and you know, so here's, here's the thing, guys. You know, I'm not one of those guys that will get a dope gun and just put out a review as soon as I get it. I just, I just don't do it. I like to, I like to live with the gun, shoot the gun, mm -hmm. use the gear, whatever. I mean, you know, and also I'm gonna just say this for other people that has sent us stuff. Like we just live with it first, so that way we can mm -hmm. speak competently about it, and you can see that we've actually been using yep. the item, right? Guns are no different. Take a couple months. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, uh, but you, as you can see, we could run this thing. Yeah. Right. So the thing is, we're not only here to talk about this gun in particular, but we're also here to let you know that you can send your own Glock 34, mm -hmm. your stock Glock 34, in to Terran Tactical Innovations and get this package done to your Glock mm -hmm. 34. Mm -hmm. So first off, just tell you this quick story about how this gun came to be in my possession. <laughs> At range day, Taryn was kind enough because he knew we didn't shoot the course. He knew everybody mm -hmm. else got to shoot the course at last range day. We were the last to shoot the course because we were working, we were interacting, we were podcasting yep. all day. So at the end of the day, he said, you guys gotta come run the course, I got a surprise for you. I'm like, all right. So we go in there to run the course 
and I thought it was just to run the course. Right, that's what I thought. Right, we're just to run the course for fun, but then Taryn makes it a competition because everything is always a competition with guns out. I don't know why, I don't know who started that between us or where, be, where it came from, but you know, it's it's helped us, obviously, it's pushed us a lot. Mm -hmm. But are both but, also hyper competitive. Right, and, but sometimes it's just not the time. And for me that day, it wasn't the time because I was exhausted, me personally. I probably did too much on the private night after, you know, whatever, I stayed up too late. Um, so anyway, I was tired, we ran the course, and we both got great times. We did. Sherm beat me, did. of course, but Sherm beat me, right? And the winner was able to walk away with the Sand Viper, and the second winner <laughs> walked away the with the Copperhead. Now, what I had to tell myself in that moment was, you know what, I love my staccatos. You do. I love my 2011s. You do. I have nice 2011s. You do. I don't have one of the nicest Glocks ever made. You don't, and that's a damn good block. This thing is unbelievable. And if you're looking at the two, I mean, you're looking at yeah. cost variation, mm -hmm. you got a Glock 34, Yeah, I would go with that because the Sand Viper, you're looking at $7,000. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's just not yeah, yeah, yeah. realistic for most people out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and so I would say you still have options if you're interested in having something from the, the Terran Tactical lineup. Oh, 100%. Now, I don't know exactly how much this particular gun the costs. The, no, no, no. The package is $19.99. Oh, so okay. if you send your own Glock 34 in, the package is $19.99. Mm -hmm. um, so to buy the gun, I don't know. I don't even know if it's in stock. I, I think, honestly, they're only doing packages right now. But just go to the website and see. Check Chris, pop, we'll put pop, the, link. pop yep. the screenshot there and show how much the gun costs. If you can buy the gun, you know what to do, Chris. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's, let's, let's just talk about this real quick, man. Okay, there's so much about this that doesn't make this feel like a Glock. Oh, the, boy. Okay, we, let's, let's start with the reciprocation True. of this slide, this spring that he has in here. I mean, this is just so easy to reciprocate, right? right? Very lightweight, mm -hmm. obviously he's got, you know, milling done here to take weight off the slide. The sights on this thing are amazing. They are. The SRO is seated really, really low, so it's perfectly co-witnessed. Mm -hmm. The stippling, this, uh, I call this like a coral, right? Yeah, Doesn't it look kind of like a coral it, it stippling? Does, and it's definitely not going anywhere. I mean, no, it's, no. it's in your hand. No, very, very grippy. But the game changer about this. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is for you, John? The trigger. Oh yeah, okay. I the agree. trigger. The I trigger. Agree. Uh, the trigger. Which I don't know how light. <laughs> Taryn is insane. I, I have no clue yeah, how light I, that trigger I, is. Listen, we got to get a, a, a trigger thing on this and find out exactly how light it is. But look, but I'm, I I, I'm, I'm hoping you too. can punch in on this. But you see, okay, bam, the wall, very distinct, very pronounced. And I mean, the minimalist pressure after that. And yeah. look at that, it didn't even pound, go pound far. Something. And then let's reciprocate the slide and then watch the return. Just so crazy. For buttery, smooth, unbelievable. For you got the extended mag release right here, and then of mm -hmm. course you got the magwell. These magwells from Terran are just different, different because they they really do have a funneling effect. If you saw that reload yeah, I did Terran's on the move, big on that on <coughs> fun, on it sort of sucking the mag. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. You, you know, you saw that reload. It was nice and smooth on the go because of that, I mean that magwell just sucked it right in. So you know, and I mean all the aesthetic. You know, you got the Combat Master right mm -hmm. there. You got the Combat Master right there. You got the Terran T on the on the top there. And I mean it's just. A beautiful firearm. It is, and, and just to take a minute to just talk about, uh, from you know, a competitive perspective here, mm -hmm. you sh you saw some of our first initial shots through se courses of several different drills, mm -hmm. and what you saw was a consistency of sub-second shots mm -hmm. from holster. Yeah. Um, nines, eights, I want to say seven, but John's going to say I jumped the gun on that, so I'm <laughs> not even going to throw that into to this. Say. Point seven eight. Now you see that's worth showing. Point seven eight is worth showing. Not the wait, point wait, wait, wait. What? Yeah. Point wait seven. Wait a minute here. Point, seven point eight. zero seven eight. We could debate that you jumped the beat. Oh shit. We see, could here. debate it. Now here we go. I'm just saying. John is not going to give me my say, credit. Oh right, man. Listen. So we'll see. We'll look at the footage. Uh, you know. Oh, uh, you know what? I I'll even give him this. Maybe I said shooter ready, stand by and I didn't press the button immediately, so then that's not your fault, technically. No, I See? drew my gun when I heard the beep. All right. <laughs> All right, shoot around. It was a great draw, Michael. Now maybe, this continue. Now, for my credit, I will say if, if I did not properly hear the beep, there's a lot going on, a lot of sounds, <laughs> a lot of noises. See, See now you're doing too much. Now you're doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. What happened? 
<laughs> You're not gonna believe this one. Oh, what? You're not gonna believe this one at all. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Point eight six. <laughs> Point eight six, guys. Kydex from and Roger. That is not what a speed Cop holster. Copperhead from Terran Tactical. Oh, you gotta no, love man, it. No, it, man, it's that's gratifying. That's, that's nice. gratifying. Shoot, ready? Yep. Stand by. What was that one, John? One three one total. 0.91 on the draw. Missed the first shot though. Did I? I don't know. I didn't I miss the first shot on that one. Oh, John. you did you miss the second shot? It doesn't matter. What was I got done? <laughs> Let me see that man. Show this to the this, this <laughs> man. First shot. 091 minute. But my brother John here. I know how to is drive him crazy. Me have it. I know how to drive him crazy. Not letting me have it. This is just different, man. This is in a league of its own. And I think it's because of a lot of the polishing, mm -hmm. what they're doing to the internal Oh, frames. the internals, yeah. I mean, the trigger is not just a, a, a stock newer Timney trigger. They still take those triggers, which are really good, mm -hmm. and they still further refine them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that just goes to show you the level of detail that a Taren, and JR, and the rest of the team, they're really putting into making this particular Glock and all of their Glocks, all the other combat masters, is a bit different from that one, really high performing tools. Yeah, 100% agreed. Um, real quick shout out to Roger at QBO yeah, Tactical Roger. for hooking me up with this snake skin for the Copperhead mm -hmm. Kydex holster. Shout out to December, December Customs. Customs. We appreciate it. Rocking their battle belts right now, man. These guys are going to be at Range Day. They were at Range Day last year. And mm -hmm. listen, they took so many orders that they were telling me that they were literally just getting caught up and fulfilling some of the yep. orders from last Range Day. But they're looking forward to coming to this Range Day as well. And then last but not least, shout out to Hunter's HD Gold. Yep. We both really? rocking the Hunter's HD Gold glasses. These things are just impeccable as it pertains to shooting, picking up the dot. Oh, and one more shout out. Uh, shout out to uh, Grizzly Ears. Though, listen, you, you guys have seen me rocking these Grizzly Ears. Grizzly mm -hmm. Ears. Mm -hmm. In my last couple of reels and last couple of episodes, best in the ear Bluetooth yeah, you've been saying that. I, that I have ever, ever used. I gotta, I gotta get some so I can No, 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 you got some, you so got some on the way. You got some the on the sound way. because I still play the piano, yeah. so I'm always cautious about mm -hmm. my ears, mm -hmm. but I have never seen John so consistently uh, and reliably yeah, 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 yeah. use one mm -hmm. type of ear protection. Yeah. And I know from all your years in the military, you always talk about, you know, you start losing mm -hmm. hearing after yeah. a while. Mm -hmm. So to see you say, okay, no, Sherm, these things are yeah. good. Guys, I would recommend them. To wrap up the Copperhead mm -hmm. review, um, it's an impeccable pistol. Look, I'm sure I'm gonna switch places with you so you can just kind of hold yeah, it and yeah. articulate a little mm -hmm. bit. But um, yeah, it, it's a, it's an amazing, excellent it is. Glock pistol. Upgrade if you already have your own 34. Mm -hmm. And if they have these in stock, man, and you're looking to you know jump into some limited optics. Now, again, you know we're staccato guys. We're 2011 guys. So the grip angle, you'll notice oh, sometimes boy. we throw shots over the left oh, shoulder or boy. something if we draw. And both closer. of us, the, the, the shots that we threw were yeah. consistently the same yeah. for two individual mm -hmm. people. Yeah, so I want to point that out. Yeah, yeah. So grip angle is a thing, right? I am not a, I used to be a big Glock person. I haven't been in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I'm going to shoot a Glock. It has to be a Glock that's been customized by the team at Terran Tactical Innovations. 100 percent, 100 percent. That's what it is, guys. So you know, we're not gonna get over, over, over technical on the specifications because we did that in the B-roll, mm -hmm. telling you everything about everything and everywhere on the gun. The gun is great. It shoots yeah. well. You saw we put it to the test today. Yep. Great times, great accuracy, great manipulations. It is what it is. Go to Terran Tactical site, get the Combat Master Package for your 34 or any other Glock that he offers the packages for, 17s, yep. 45s, 19s, mm -hmm. whatever. It makes a difference. You're gonna say, let's go? Oh, I didn't know if you wanted to say, so let's go. <laughs> and get some. <laughs>